Good morning guys, it's about 6 o'clock in the morning and it's time for us to leave the cabin now. We're up bright and early because we're going to go drive back down to Kangaroo Valley and uh, see if we can see those kangaroos we missed before we head home. So, got the family loaded in the car there, if you guys can see. Probably can't in this dark light, but uh, that's it. Time to say goodbye to the little cabin. Close the gate so the wombats don't get in and eat the plants. Jump in the car and let's go see if we can see some kangaroos. Guys, we've just arrived at Kangaroo Valley and we've already seen a wombat. So we've jumped out of the car quickly. We're now rushing over to see him. There he is. Oh, he's just run off. He's quick. So now here this morning, we should see, and I can see some kangaroos over there. Look, there he is. I don't know if you guys can see. What's going in there? There he is. There's a real live wombat for you. So it's now seven o'clock in the morning. We just got here. Look at him scratching. That's cool, isn't it? What do you think of that? That is pretty. That's his poo there, yep. Come on, look, there's kangaroos over here. Look, Ethan. Over here, look. Come. Look. Who's that? See over there? Can you see them? Look, look. See? Oh, let's go! Let's go. <laughs> They're running. Look, there's some looking at us. Kangaroos way off in the distance, oh, see there, guys. See if we can get closer to some other ones. Huh? So, it's very pretty down here, guys. We saw a couple of kangaroos off in the distance. That nice one, bat. We're going to search around and see if we can find some more, aren't we, buddy? Kangaroos in here. Maybe they are. Let's go have a look. In here you can see a wombat hole. Huh? There's a wombat hole here guys. That's where the wombat lives inside there. Right. What do you think about that? What if I knock? You knock? See if he's home? What do you say hello? Anybody home? Anybody home? <laughs> uh, it's a very deep tunnel right? But how do they make this? They dig it with their claws. Ow! Huh? <laughs> That's their pool, right? Yep. Oh my gosh! Yeah. See, I think I just walked in their pool actually. That's alright. Yeah, well, let's go up, let's go up the stairs here, maybe. Go. Wanna go up, up these stairs or wanna go up over here? Up over here. No, like, go more for <laughs> further. Alright, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. There's a kookaburra over here, guys. Let's go take a close look at him. He doesn't fly away. Shh, be quiet, shh, shh, be quiet. So we can get close to him. Oh, and there he goes. He's off. Why do they make 
Like the camel sound. <laughs> it's, it's like it's making like a camel sound. Right, let's go, let's go over there. No, let's go, let's go up here, buddy. Come on. So, interesting story. Uh, whether you can believe it or not is that yesterday when I was out on the four-wheeler um, by myself without Ethan, no camera or anything, I was riding along and I saw a big tall kangaroo about my size. He's there staring at me from over in the, in the bushes. So I stopped the bike and I stared at him and I was like, I kind of looked down a bit and he sort of gave a little wave up and I looked up again like, did he just wave at me? Put his, put his paw up. And then he jumped, then he sparked and he started, he took off. So I took off on my bike and he went off into the bush. But then I noticed he was running parallel to me so I was actually racing this kangaroo. Then he's come across and he's in front of me and I'm actually chasing this kangaroo. Big grey one. For about a minute. And then, uh, then he veered off. So uh, I did get my kangaroo experience, even if we don't see some here today. Of course, this is more for Ethan, so I'm hoping we'll see some around close up. But uh, yeah, so that happened yesterday. I also saw some wild emus little family with a family running along yesterday. It was really cool. Once again, Ethan missed out on that. I was by myself, didn't even have my camera with me, but it is what it is, guys. Anyway, let's kind of venture up here a little bit more. And Keeps, keep on the hunt for the elusive kangaroos of Kangaroo Valley. Let's go take a look. Alright, it's starting to rain. I think we better go back in the car. Maybe we'll get in the car and drive up here. But it's kind of going to come down pretty heavy quickly. Come on, Ethan. Let's get back to the car, buddy. We've seen a one back. We've seen some kangaroos in the distance. We might see another kangaroo yet. What do you reckon, buddy? Should we drive up and have a bit of a look before we leave? Yeah, we'll drive around and see if we can find a kangaroo. Maybe further up, like where it's less campers, there's more, more kangaroos. Maybe we can stop and have a look, I don't know. Kookaburras, there's a kookaburras going off and maybe sorting the flies off me but so far I've only seen a few kangaroos off in the distance. <laughs> this monkey. <laughs> anyway, I might jump in the car and drive around see if we can find a little group of kangaroos. Well guys, you can see that gate there. That's, that's the end of Kangaroo Valley. I'm not Kangaroo Valley, but well, it's the end of the National Park. So we, uh, we looked around, we saw one wombat, one little cluster of kangaroos. I think that's it. We're going to head off back to Sydney now and uh, we'll check in with you guys at the next town. That's all. I don't know what that is, but Reminds me of a Star Wars thing, station or something. <laughs> I think it's a hydroelectric station. Anyway, off to the top. The seal and off to the next town, guys. Let's go. Well, guys, we're here in Bowral now, and uh, we're gonna stop, have something to eat. This possibly could be our last stop for our little Southern Highlands adventure. But uh, at the moment, we're on the hunt for McDonald's to have some breakfast. And we'll, uh, we'll get back to you after that. Yep. Because we haven't had breakfast. So it seems that McDonald's is in Barrel. It's in Minigong. So Barrel looked like a nice little town. But we didn't bother stopping there guys. So we're getting tired and we just want to get home now. So it's like we're heading to Minigong, having some Maccas and then it's off home.
Well, that's it guys. We're back in Sydney. And that means the end of our Southern Highlands adventure. We're gonna end today's vlog here. You know what to do guys. If you wanna keep following our adventures, make sure you subscribe to the channel. And until next time. That like that's it, and until next time, peace out. <laughs>